What's going on YouTube? Welcome to a grocery haul video. If you do not know, I'm away from home right now and I am living in a hotel for a few weeks. But just because I'm in a hotel does not mean the grind has to stop. If you do not know, I've been getting lean, shredding down, my diet is on point, my training is even better. I'm back in the gym, I'm back focused mentally, I'm back on my cardio, I'm back just getting it in. So as you see behind me, I have tons of groceries. I wanted to bring you guys into the kitchen today just to show you what I've been eating, how I've been reaching my goals day in and day out from breakfast lunch and dinner no stove only a microwave but without making this video super long let's just get right into it So the foods that I'm about to show you can fit in anyone's diet, whether you're a male or a female, man, woman, boy, girl, it does not matter. These food items are for everyone. So in no particular order, I'm just gonna run down from here all the way to here, just give you guys the insight of what I've been eating. First up, we have Rice crisp. I have a few different flavors. These are clutch. There's about three servings in every single bag. I normally eat the whole bag if I'm gonna open it. 380 calories. Now, if you are afraid of carbs, which you should not be, I would stay away from eating the whole entire bag. This whole bag has 62 grams of carbs. I'm back eating a lot of carbs. I think I'm eating around 300 grams of carbs a day. My protein is about 200 and my fats are normally around 60. And the fat content in here is 13 grams per serving. Super good, super clutch. Whether it's a pre-workout snack, just real quick on the go, whether I'm just snacking, these come in handy. Next up, since we talked about fat, I have my nuts right here. All right, these are healthy nuts. So the thing I like about these are the fact that they come in little packets, all right? So I don't have to measure out any food. I don't have to measure out the nuts. I can just pull out a packet and go. So each packet in these are 16 grams of fat. And inside of the packet, we have cashews, almonds, macadamians, and it has a little bit of sea salt just to give it some more flavor. Then I also picked up these. So for my lower calorie individuals, these are 100 calories per pack, all right? And inside of here, you have your cashews, your almonds, and your dried pineapple. So for each one of these packets, you're only looking at six grams of fat. So if you are more on the lower calorie side, you might wanna go get you one of these options, which are just 100 calorie packs. But you always need to be incorporating some healthy nuts into your diet. All right, you see it, popcorn. Every night, I'm eating popcorn, clutch. So I got the butter, and I also have the kettle corn. So in each bag, Bag, we're only looking at 23 grams of carbs and the bag is a nice size to where you can eat one popcorn at a time it'll last you for a little bit and you'll be satisfied if you like popcorn I do recommend you go for the lower calorie popcorn this is smart pop right here this is your oatmeal brand we're going down the line of carbs let me go ahead and talk about my oatmeal right here so these are my oats this is the Quaker this right here is the fiber and protein packs so the reason I get these is because I want my protein to be at a certain level as we all know getting your protein in is not the easiest normally we slack on protein. We can eat carbs for days, but it's the protein that we lack. So I went for this option right here. Each packet is giving me six grams of protein. So normally I eat at least one to two, whether it's pre-workout, whether it's post-workout, or whether it's first thing in the morning but I'm getting in at least two packets. And fiber, of course, you know, for your digestive system, you need your fiber. A lot of people lack fiber too in their diets. Make sure you get your fiber in. Since we're talking about fiber, I'll go ahead and talk to you about Quest Bars. Quest Bars are loaded with fiber. That is the reason why I like them so much. Good amount of protein, 20 grams for each bar, but the fiber is where you really win at. If you eat one of these a day, your fiber should be able to get kicked up a notch and you should be pretty good throughout the whole entire day. So if you are gonna eat a protein bar, I do recommend that you steer away from the garbage protein bars that only have a little bit of protein, tons of carbs, no fiber. What you really want is a protein bar that is gonna help you reach your goals at a better rate. No, I'm not sponsored, but I should be. Look at all these Quest Bars right here. I have tons of them. Quest Bars, one a day. All right, back to the carbs. Rice. I went ahead and opted for these containers right here. So in each one of these containers, we're looking at 230 calories, 44 grams of carbs. And this is the Basmati rice. I love Basmati. I have some jasmine right here. Also have some brown rice right here as well. Now I was doing these packets right here, but it's kind of hard to save the rice, if you know what I mean. There's two servings in each one of these bags, and sometimes I only want one. Without saving it, I just go ahead and eat the extra carbs. For this whole packet, you're looking at 76 grams of carbs. Not everyone wants to eat that many carbs at once, which is why going for an option like this is clutch. You can just heat one of these little things up right here and you'd be good to go. All right, so let's talk about protein. Again, protein is what we need. This is for building muscle. There's no secret behind it. We need our protein. What I like to do is normally 
one gram of protein per body weight. I don't overdo it on protein like I used to back in my younger days. So right now my body weight is around 190 to 200, 200 grams of protein a day. These right here are clutch. So these are already prepared meals right here. It's just the meat, just the protein. And they give you options on here what you can pair it with. You can make a salad, you can just eat it with some vegetables or do whatever. In this whole entire packet, we're looking at 63 grams of protein. So this is the chicken breast right here. I also have beef tips, I also have pork roast, and then I also have some turkey. Then I also have some turkey back here. Now, depending on which protein you go with, we're gonna have a little bit more fat in some of them than others. So obviously, you know, pork roll's gonna have some fat. The beef tips are definitely gonna have fat in it. So if you're trying to stay away from too much fat, go for the chicken breast or even the turkey. Seven grams of fat for this whole entire thing. And it's pretty hefty too. So every single night I'm eating one of these. Since we're talking about protein, I have some power bowls right here. This is the healthy choice. So when I'm picking up and choosing microwavable food, I'm choosing the most bang for my buck. When I say bang for my buck, I'm not necessarily talking about money. I'm talking about my macros. So in these containers right here, this is 23 grams of protein. A lot of the other meals will have, like, let's say, 15 grams of protein, 10 grams of protein, tons of carbs. No, that's not a good bang for your buck. What you want to be getting is a little bit of fat and a good amount of protein. And obviously the carbs are going to come with it. Like in this container right here, we're looking at 48 grams of carbs, 7 grams of fat, and 23 grams of protein. Eat one of these a day. And I switch it up. So this is the pork right here. Also have chicken right here, some more chicken. And again, this has 23 grams of protein. This right here has 21 grams of protein. So normally for me, if it does not have 20 or more, I'm not buying it. Then I also have some Alfredo right here and I also have some chicken vegetable store fry. So this right here is actually 28 grams of protein and only eight grams of carbs, super clutch. I can actually put some rice in here if I wanted to, but this is your grilled chicken Alfredo, got some broccoli in it. And this right here, 23 grams of protein. Carbs are real low in here as well. All right, what else do we have? Every single day as well. Super clutch in the morning, grab and go. Normally for me, I'm eating it when I first come back from the gym. I'm doing two days right now. I'm in the gym in the morning. I'm also in the gym a little bit later in the evening. So once I get out the gym, I'm throwing this in the microwave and I'm getting it in. This right here, eight grams of fat, 31 carbs and 18 grams of protein. Super clutch right here. This is the delights, Jimmy Dean. Then I also have some croissants right here. And this right here is 12 grams of fat, 32 carbs and 15 grams of protein. Normally I'm just eating egg whites, maybe one yolk. And I have, let's say some healthy nuts or something to go with it. So I'm not afraid of fat in the morning. Actually, first thing in the morning, you do want to get a nice serving of carbs, protein and fats. You just fast it all through the night. Now it's time to replenish your body and get some good macros in. And since I'm talking about egg whites, I still have my egg whites. I normally just pour these in the cup, throw them in the microwave for about three, four minutes, whatever it is, or depending on the amount. But sometimes if I need more protein, I definitely get it in with the egg white. I'm always eating egg white. All right, we're almost done here. Hope this is not super long. If this video is helpful, I do want you guys to go ahead and smash that subscribe button, hit the like. Let's keep growing the channel, guys. We're on our way to 6K. Let's just keep growing. X Factor Fitness team, I love y'all. All right, pineapple slices. I do my pineapples. First thing when I get out of the gym, the gym is like, let's say two minutes right down the street, I just walk. Normally when I get back, I'm getting in some sugar. All right, so fruit, healthy, right? So get your fruits in, but also you wanna replenish and throw some sugar in your body post-workout. And that's why I opt for some fruit. Back home, I was doing a lot of bananas, but these pineapples are just too good. So I have tons of them. All right, back to the protein. I have these right here. These are your core power right here. I love these things. These also are on the go. So normally in the morning, before I go get my first session in, I normally chug one of these down. 26 grams of protein in these things. Only seven carbs and we got four and a half grams of fat. Not a big deal, but these are great. Now, I do recommend you have some milk into your diet, have a little bit of dairy in your diet. Never overdo it with the dairy. It might mess you up when you're trying to digest food for some people, some individuals, myself even. So that's why I don't do a lot of dairy but these are clutch right there on the go i don't have to take a protein powder scoop shake it do all the extra stuff i could just pop this go you can drink it cold or you can even drink it hot more protein more dairy but right here these are your 15 grams of protein right here in these yogurts so these are also clutch if you're just low on your macros and you need to get some more protein go ahead and get you some of these the carbs in here are only 10 grams of carbs no fat at all all right so i think a lot of you know about yogurt but if you don't these are clutch you don't see any vegetables because they're all right here in this container. This right here is your superfood. You do have to get vegetables into your diet every single day, at least one or two servings. Because I'm not home and I don't really want to load up vegetables in here and microwave them or eat them raw, I just go ahead and go for the powder. Again, you want to be getting vegetables in. I know I preach that all the time in all my diet videos, grocery videos, but you can't stay away from vegetables. You won't build an optimal physique without vegetables. Get your vegetables in. And to keep me pushing through my diet, gotta have some Coke Zero. Vitamins, clutch, gotta have these. 
have my multivitamin, my fish oil, then I have some calcium, magnesium, some zinc. Green tea, y'all know how I get down. And last but not least, we're looking at the condiments. Gotta have my sugar-free syrup. I put this in my oats in the morning, and I gotta have my no sugar added ketchup. I put this on my egg whites. Water, always a must. I do have some supplements over here. This is not a supplement video, so I won't talk too much about those, but you guys know Cellular Core, Xtend, C4 Energy. Y'all know the links are down below. Save you some money, go get you some supplements. All right, YouTube, that is it for the video. I hope you guys enjoy these food choices. I hope you can try to implement these into your diet. Just because you're not at home does not mean you have to stay away from your goals. All I have is a microwave, a sink, and a refrigerator, a small one at that. But none of that's gonna stop me from reaching my goal. My goal is to build an optimal physique, to be the best version of myself that I can be. And just because I'm not at home and I have limited resources here, there's no room for giving up. I won't take my foot off the gas. I'm gonna keep grinding. And I hope you guys are too. So that's why I brought you this video, just to push you guys a little bit and show you how I'm doing it. And maybe you can too. With that being said, if you haven't checked out any of my other diet and fitness videos, I encourage you to check out this playlist right here. Check it out. I really mean it. Go get you some tips. And also subscribe, man. Y'all know the vibes. X Factor Fitness team, we're gonna keep growing. We're on our way to 6K. Subscribe to the channel. I'm gonna catch you guys in the next one.